What's going on everyone? Dr. Drake here and welcome to episode 10 of your weekly Wednesday wine review where we spread knowledge one sip at a time. Before we start, make sure to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss your weekly Wednesday wine reviews. For the 10th episode, the wine we are featuring is Castellare di Castellina Chianti Classico 2018 and it's priced at $21.99. Chianti Classico is a zone inside of the Tuscany region of Italy. Sangiovese is the grape used for main production of Chiantis and Chianti Classicos, and by law must have at least 80% Sangiovese in the wine, as well as can be blended with 20% of other varieties, but it can also be 100% Sangiovese. So the winemaker is not required to blend, but it's nice to know they do have the flexibility if they choose. Chianti Classico is easily spotted by the black rooster, sometimes in the form of a sticker or printed on the back of the label. The symbol dates to the Middle Ages when the Liga del Chianti, a political and military institution created by the Republic of Florence to control the Chianti area, used it. The backstory to the black rooster symbol makes a fascinating tale. This is why Chianti Classico has a black rooster on it. It has nothing to do with the quality of the wine. Like I said earlier, Sangiovese is the main grape in Chianti Classicos, and the flavor components you will normally find are cherry notes, roasted tomato, balsamic, oregano, and sometimes even an espresso note. Let's see how accurate that really is. Let's get into this wine. The wine is a pale ruby red color. The nose is very interesting with aromas of roasted coffee bean, dried tomato, hints of dried cherry, and dried herbs coming through. The palate brings those same dried fruits like cherry and tomato, then the mid palate brings firm tannins and leather with an acidic finish that is really making my mouth pucker and eyes twitch. You can definitely tell this is an old world wine and should be paired with food, even if it's something small with cheese and crackers. I decided to go with something simple this week with spaghetti and grounded up meat with my dairy-free Parmesan cheese. It made the wine more complete and that acidity got washed away when the food came into the picture. I think this is a solid wine and even if you can't find this one in particular, I absolutely recommend to seek out a Chianti Classico if you haven't had one before. There are a ton of producers out there. All you have to do is look for the Black Rooster sticker or print it on the back of the label. Remember to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay tuned for next week's prescription from the doctor.